Hello, just a very quick video. Uh, if you've still got your Revo, your Acer Revo RL100, what you might have noticed is that it doesn't update. Um, so this one I've got here, I've still got version 1803 of Windows 10 on, um, and 1903 won't install, and neither will the previous version. So let's see how to fix that. So um, this is um, it working. Um, just to prove it, it's just restarted after doing the update. So just to prove it, um, I've got the Winver command running there. Uh, version 1903 um, so the uh, Revo can be updated to newer version of Windows of course the important thing is to know what is preventing it from doing that and the answer is the network card um, I thought it was a bit suspicious because if you tried to disable it it caused it to freeze um, so that got me twitching a little bit. So um, I've removed it completely. So you take the network card out and then you run the update and, and it works. Um, now to run the update, um, if you Google Windows 10 ISO, it should take you to this page as the first hit, uh, which allows you to download the media creation tool there. Um, you download that and then run it and that updates to the latest version which in this case is 1903 um, that's uh, that's a lot easier I think than using Windows Update because Windows Update has to decide that it wants to do that and then it downloads it and then it changes its mind and it puts Defender up definitions on and all sorts of stuff so um, use the tool to do this and then you'll know it's going to do it because you're kind of forcing it to do it just go through the motions the default options are the ones you want keep your apps and files and that kind of thing so you perform a, 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 an upgrade using that tool and then um, it takes a while because the 1903 update takes a while anyway but the Revo is quite an old machine now so it takes a little bit longer but as you can see it works so um, you remove the network card, run the update, and put the network card back in, um, and, and it works. So the next stage of the video, um, if you want, I mean, you can obviously stop watching now, but if you want to watch the next bit is how to actually remove a network card. So um, yeah, have a look at that. Okay, so if you're still watching this, then you'll be um, watching it to see how you take the network card out. So here we go. You will need a two mil hex screwdriver. And then at the back, there are one, two, four screws and there's also one in there which also needs to come out it's a slightly different one I think so that goes like that now this should, with a bit of teasing, come off, he said hopefully. They haven't made it very easy. So let's just see if we can um, tease it off a bit. That is a nice 
nice resounding click. Get a knife in there and just gently see if we can pop the clips that are holding it on. You'll probably break them. Um, doesn't matter though. So anyway, uh, this is one that was upgraded in the previous video, so you can see there's a something says diesel in there. That's what we're after there. So there's a black wire nearest me. Just unplug that. And I'll get the other one and just unplug that. And we're gonna need to switch the screw over, I expect. Try that one. There's a little mounting screw there. Just unscrew that and the network card sort of pops up. And that's it removed. The one in this one um, no identifying marks on it at all. Don't know how well you can see that. GoPro is not very good at close ups. Probably can't see it at all. But that's the network card, so that's the network card out. So now it's out, what I'll do is I'll just run that update again and then um, we'll see what happens. And here we are. So our um, network card is back in. Um, this particular um, Revo had the um, Bra Link 802.11N wireless LAN card. Um, and that is now connected to the Wi Fi. Um, I've also got the network cable in as well. <coughs> And it appears to be working absolutely fine. So um, yeah, there's the reason why it doesn't update. So if you open the top up to physically remove the network card, it'll update perfectly happily. And then you put the card back in and away you go. Um, obviously like and subscribe if um, you found this video helpful. Um, any questions or comments, then stick them in the comments. And I hope this was useful. Um, and thanks for watching.